Oh, what a pity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 so, can you please, let's put in the tomatoes. Good. And there you have it. A very simple, fun chia cao dan. Oh. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hello, Tomodachis. Hello, Tomodachis. Hi, Tomodachis. Welcome back to another episode of Tomodachi Table. In Kadu House. Yes. I am Kadu. And no side up today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he is very tired now. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as you can see from our ingredients here, we are going to make tomato and egg scramble. Yes, Kali, do you remember Chinese craze girl? Yeah, last time uh, that video was really oh, Kung Fu girl. impressive. <laughs> Where she pulled the, the water out from the sky and the yeah. chicken from the ceiling, right? That exactly. was so interesting video. <laughs> and got an egg from the like, a cock. <laughs> yes. So we are going to make our own version of the tomato egg fright. Yes. And uh, if you want to see us recreate these dishes and do more, feel free to give us a like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get on with the cooking. All right, let's prepare then. All right, so we have soy sauce, tomatoes, onion, Japanese leek, eggs, seasoning paste, MSG, and tapioca starch. First, we're gonna make a little paste out of our tapioca starch. So you just want to make a small slurry out of it. Make sure all of it's dissolved inside. Okay, let's peel the onions first. So not shallot. <laughs> yes, not shallot. Oh, this is very easy to peel. Much easier, I think. Compared to the shallot. We're gonna increase the onion -y goodness for this omelette recipe by adding Japanese leeks and some scallions to make some nice decorative pieces. For Japanese leek, we're gonna do the same and just cut them long like this. And this is gonna make quite a bit, I think. So perfect for if you wanna make something simple for your family or if you have friends over, it's good. Kari, would you like to crack the eggs? Okay, Kari, please <laughs> like do this. Let's see, Kari cracking eggs. Please, second egg. Oh, nice. One crack. And to that, we're going to add a little bit of soy sauce just to season the eggs. And let's add a little bit of Golden Mountain soy sauce as well. Wow. Just for some extra flavor. All right, so now that we've cut up all our ingredients, let's get ready to stir fry some tomatoes and eggs. We're not going to add the scallions yet because those are going to be garnish. All right, let's just stir fry this. And we want them to soften. Let's put in the tomatoes. Good. We're just going to season our tomatoes a little bit. Whoa, very thick. Okay. Our cornstarch slurry or tapioca starch slurry. A tapioca slurry. Just to thicken the sauce. Okay, now we're going to put the tomatoes into a bowl and fry our eggs. Let's fry. Okay, fry. Yes. All right, let's stir this egg. We don't want it to get too tough. So we just want them to set. We return our tomatoes back into the bowl, or the frying pan rather, and there you have it. A very simple fun chia cao dan. Tomato stir fried with eggs. Ooh. All right, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. So the soy sauce is really dark. <laughs> I think so. So Chinese soy sauce? Yes. We didn't introduce the first of the video. Because we thought we were going to use the Thai soy sauce, and Kadu said, I have Chinese soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here it's it is. Exist. Cake. Shall we eat? Yes. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Ah, smells good. Oh, smells good. You like a skiaki smell though. <laughs> <laughs> In Japanese. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's a very good. comforting taste. Mm -hmm. I know. If you had like a big bowl of white rice, It'd be so good together. Mm. Oh, it is nice taste though. Yeah, 
So everything's like really silky and smooth. You have a little bit of the sourness from the tomato. Mm. But then it also comes with the creaminess of the egg. Oh, this is a crazy Chinese girl. Make mm. it. Okay. Oh, so good. <laughs> But yeah, that was really good. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very common dish all throughout the Chinese speaking, I think, countries. Yeah. Yes. And it's a very comforting food that's often made by mothers mm -hmm. for their children. So yeah, if you want to see us explore more foods like this, feel free to give the channel a like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. All right. Sayonara. Bye. Today it's no cat though. Yes. Like a Chinese crazy girl. And no chicken. <laughs>